and welcome in to be our guest. And we know that in the area of law enforcement that there's a shortage of persons that are entering law enforcement, and it's for a variety of reasons. So if there's something as you're starting to become more of a senior you can do to help with law enforcement, this is the show that you need to be watching. My guest is Ben Alpert. And Ben, you have an organization it's called Volunteer and Police Services. Correct. Which is part of the Montgomery Police Department. It's part of our Community Policing Bureau. Okay, and there's a Montgomery Policing Bureau. Yes. And what it does is basically you don't go out and arrest anybody. No, no, but you, we're but, not. You, but you give support in areas that need support within the police yes, department. Sir. It's a volunteer police service to give the police officers and police personnel more time to do those things that uh, are necessary as we call on the street. Mm -hmm. it, it's a it's a honorary type program where we can volunteer to help. That's great because you know basically in every different type of organization, nurses, no matter what, paperwork has become too much. Yes. And if a police officer is sitting at a desk doing paperwork or doing things that are administrative, he's not out on the street doing what he needs to do. Hey, that's exactly right. We have several areas of volunteer work. We do patrols for volunteer uh, watching homes that are on vacation. Ah. We, as you say, we do paperwork. Mm -hmm. We work the desk and uh, sort of uh, manage people who comes in and out of the building. So many different areas mm -hmm. of service. Okay, so if a person is interested in doing this, first and foremost, do they have to be trained somehow? Is there a little bit of a training that goes with it? Well, there's certainly a little bit of a training, yes. It, we really do an on-the-job training. Okay. We Which just uh, have them come in once they fill out an application, and then there's a background check, and our sergeant uh, approves of them being part of the program. Then we just uh, have them shadow us somebody. for a while. Okay, yeah. and that's, that's a good way to do it. So when time, from a time commitment standpoint, if somebody wants to do it, they say, well, I can give you three hours a week. Is that a good amount of time? Yes, sir. Uh, we try to do about four hours a week. A week. That's but sometimes uh, with the shortage, you know, everybody has been, since the COVID pandemic, right. everybody's been short. And we try to do a little more if we can. Mm hmm yeah, because obviously the more that you can be there, the more help you can give. Yes, sir. And so basically when you're out and you, if you do take your individual car when you go to check on a house if somebody's on vacation? The uh, Montgomery Police Department has allocated two cars okay. to our program that are specially marked as the volunteers. Okay, and good. And use those for home and vacation check. Mm -hmm. And so if a person wants to have their home checked, do they just call the police department and let them know they're going on vacation and then they give that information to you? That's correct. They, they call the Community Policing Bureau and tell okay. them the, the dates and uh, we instruct them on how not to be too public about being right, on vacation. Right, right. Uh, Don't put it on Facebook. Yes. Because yeah. Yeah. you tell the whole world you're away from Amen. Home. Amen. Yeah. Uh, but yes, uh, they call and, and we follow up for as long as they're away, checking the home and and uh, the equipment around the home and so forth. Mm -hmm. Make sure everything's still there. Yeah. The yeah. lawnmower didn't disappear <laughs> while they were gone, unless you're out there cutting the grass for yourself. <laughs> That's right. So if a person is interested in doing this, Ben, what should they do? Is there a, do they call the Montgomery Police Community Department. Yes, you just call the non-emergency number of the Montgomery Police. And we'll Police put that number up there for you. Okay. We put uh, that non-emergency number, uh, which is uh, t downtown, and they ask for the community policing department. Okay. And then they'll give you the secretary, and she'll take the name, and we'll follow through. Okay, and then they'll get up with you and you come on in? Yes. Get the application filled in and you're ready to go. <laughs> ready to go. And they'll give you a nice shirt like you're wearing there. Well, there's 
three different types of shirts, but okay. we'll find one that works. <laughs> one that'll work for yourself. Well, Ben, thank you for what you're doing. It's a great service, and I know I do a lot to try to support police myself. And it's a yeoman's job. Yeah. But thank you for what you're doing. Thank and you. And just remember this, our police officers need all the support that they can get. This is one way that you can get it. You can have something to do to keep you active and more importantly, help our community. And we'll be right back right after this.